What's up? Today we are going to do some meal preparation slash prep and you can get an idea of what I'm eating right now but keep in mind my diet is always changing, okay? And that's because as I'm coming in closer to the Arnold, my diet's going to change, we're going to add things, we're going to take it away so this diet might be different next week, who knows? And also I'd like to mention as well, um, just because you see me eating these foods and this is my diet at the moment doesn't mean that it's your diet because we're all different. We all have different bodies, different goals, different metabolisms, genetics, etc., etc. So with that being said, I want to show you guys how I'm prepping my meals at the moment. All right, so the first meal that I'll have almost every single day is we have the muscle egg, we have one tablespoon of flax oil, sugar-free syrup, and I like to top it off with a stevia packet as well, just for that extra sweetness, crunch, and texture. So flax oil is great because it has omega-3, 6, and 9, which is also found in fish oil. But the thing is, I hate fish. If it smells like fish, I, I won't have anything to do with it. So I'm on that no fish diet. Yeah, can't stand it. <laughs> so I do flax oil instead. Now this is gonna seem like such a strange combo. You know, flax oil, what? On egg whites, but this is muscle egg. And I'll show you guys in just a minute what muscle egg is, but it's actually a sweetened egg white product, which kind of tastes like a dessert, like a crepe or something. So I like to do that. And I also like to put some sugar-free syrup on it. This one's chocolate. So we got that chocolate, yes. Okay, and then to top it off, I like to use like the crunchy stevia, which is also, also like erythritol would be great too for this, but um, I think this is a blend stevia erythritol blends. Just adds that little crunch and extra sweetness. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I cook it on the stove, okay? What's this, Ash? These are my YouTube socks, bro. You don't have a pair? No. You need to get one. Because I'm not a YouTuber, that's why. Oh, you are though. I've seen your YouTube channel, your transformation. <laughs> I had a piece of hair in that pan, it was gonna burn. <laughs> okay, so like I had mentioned guys, muscle egg, this stuff is amazing. Um, <laughs> turns out I don't really like egg whites either. At least not the savory egg whites. So that's why I do muscle egg, which is sweetened with uh, Splenda or Stevia. And this one's peach, so it's really tasty. And I do one cup of this per day. And the thing is, is I will actually cook up probably about 10 of these, okay? And I'll just have them ready to go in the fridge. I, I do like to eat these cold. And for cooking spray, I, I, I find that canola oil is the best. I don't know. Um, maybe not the healthiest, but it sure is like the best when it comes to non-sticking for this particular food. Sizzle, sizzle. You. Check out that sizzle. Sizzling. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? It is. Yeah. More than you. <laughs> Alright, we got a bubble it looks like. I like to pop that. Oh, yep, the bit. So when it gets thick enough, firm enough, whatever, I like to flip it into halves like this. And then just scoop it up and put it in containers and that way I can have them all ready for the week. So as you guys can see, once I finish cooking it, I'll just stack them on each other and then put it in the fridge so they're all nice and ready to go. So one way that I found is super convenient to cook all my vegetables because I eat a lot throughout the week is whatever vegetables I'll have, I'll just spray a pan, toss it in the oven or toss it on the grill and just let them all cook together like a big happy family. Throw some seasonings in there and that's such a great way to do it because you know what? I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm eating a lot of vegetables these days. So I'm gonna spray this so that we're not sticking to this pan. This is a very old pan. I reused it so many times. I already have some of my vegetables kind of prepared. Not all the way cooked though, just prepared. And then we have our 
cauliflowers and our broccolis. Just toss it in there. They're all friends. They're all friends. And then we're gonna top it off with these little guys, these peppers. Whoop, just like this. So we're gonna cook for however long you need. Now these ones are probably gonna go in for about mm, half an hour or so. Boom! Kind of preparing my meals um, for this upcoming week. I'll have a big load of chicken that I cooked up on the grill. I'll bring it inside and I'll just cut it using this, like, I don't even know what you call these things. So if you know what these things are called, please let me know. I think you're supposed to like cut fish with it or something. It says Alaska. But anyway, this tool, whatever the heck it is, is great for cutting chicken. Um, just be careful because I did cut my finger once. So safety first. Um, you know, I just line up the chickens like this, slice them right through. I like to have my, my chicken already cut up because it's super convenient that way because it's like, well, you know, I'd be cutting it anyway, so. As I'm cutting this chicken, I realize, I forgot to tell you, I'm doing a low carb diet right now. So you'll find that the foods that I'm eating are very low in carb, um, pretty much higher in fat, always uh, keeping the protein though. So we're doing a lot of meats, a lot of vegetables. Um, as you get closer to the show, you know, the fun stuff starts to get eliminated more and more. So yeah, it's kind of like a plain Jane diet, but at the same time, I think I do a pretty good job of making it very tasty and you know, I actually look forward to eating my own food, believe it or not. All right, so now it's time to weigh the chicken. The scale is your best friend, okay? It is very important that if you are competing that you're weighing out your foods because eyeballing it at this point is probably not a good idea. So my, my battery is about to die on this thing so hopefully I have enough juice to get me through this one. I'm going to weigh out the chicken to be 4 ounces. See, <laughs> this, this claw is making it hard. <laughs> okay, four, exactly, that's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the chickens into this bowl here. And as you can see, I'm using these glass containers, which I discovered uh, last year. And I love these things because it's almost like you're eating from a real bowl. And it's nice to have it um, kind of ready for you too. So um, people who prep and diet out there, you might get used to the plastic Tupperware, which as some may say is bad for your health depending on who makes it, the plastic. Um, but these are great because they're microwave safe. You can put them in the oven, they keep hot, and yeah, it just feels like I'm eating a real meal. However, with that being said, I do prep some meals in a plastic container, my ones I reuse here. Um, and the reason is if I'm traveling or if I'm on the go, I don't want to bring the glass with me because if I'm going to have it in my backpack or something and then I slam my backpack, I don't want it to break. That would be bad. So on some occasions I do use the plastic, but most I use the glass. All right, so while my vegetables are still cooking up, I wanted to share with you guys some things that I recently discovered um, that really help with my cravings and really help me I guess get through the day if I'm really just wanting something sweet. So for some reason I've been craving very acidic foods lately and I found this thing which is an apple cider vinegar drink and it actually has zero calories. Now I'm going to warn you guys this isn't for everyone. I'm pretty sure most of the people out there is going to be like oh I hate this, this is disgusting. I agree. <laughs> But Nadine's gonna try it how I do it. So, the thing about me is I love sweets and I put stevia in like everything, okay? So, I even put it in my apple cider vinegar drink, okay? Now, this, just so you guys know, this is not straight apple cider. This is a ready to drink apple cider beverage, okay? So, they made it purposely to drink. Can I smell? Yes. Here, smell. That's gross. No, you not you don't know until you try it. Uh, but it tastes better. Uh, it tastes better. So <laughs> anyway, just keep that in mind. I am not drinking straight apple cider vinegar. I don't even think I could do that. But when you put stevia with it, it is so good. And that is not sarcasm. It's really good. It tastes like I don't know. Like I said, I like acidic things, so now it's your turn tap. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Not oh. with the stevia. Now it's it's a little it's a little rougher. But still, yeah. 
It's a little rough without the stevia though. So that's why I always put stevia. You, you guys have no idea what I put stevia in it. It's like, everything. it fixes everything. Even my mustard, I'll show you. I put stevia in my mustard and shake it up and it's like honey mustard. The next thing is I've been obsessed with this lately. So this right here is uh, a sparkling water from Trader Joe's. This is uh, sold there at Trader Joe's. TJ's, good old TJ's. And it's just basically a mineral water sparkling with some flavor to it. Also, it's like, I guess, similar to LaCroix, um, but you can find them anywhere, honestly. So again, like I said, stevia helps everything. <laughs> so don't explode on me. So I put stevia also in my flavored water to make it sweet like a soda. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how many drops to use because that's preference and what brand you use all makes a difference. But just sweet until you're, till you're yeah, just sweet until you're sweetened to your liking. There we go. Hopefully I put enough in. You know what, just in case. More, more. Well, you're the one trying it. More. Try it. No. Try it. It's not gonna bite. Oh, that's it's not bad. It's good. Not bad, huh? It's good. So as we get closer to the show, like I had mentioned, we gotta be careful about those empty calories, okay? Empty calories are found in a lot of condiments, but it just so happens that these condiments, they're not in. So thank goodness, we got the sriracha, we got the mustard, and this brags liquid aminos, which is a soy sauce alternative. So I mentioned to you guys, I like things sweet. I like to add stevia to a lot of things, so guess what I did? I added stevia to this. I put stevia up in here, all up in there, just like this, like right into the bottle. You know why? Because now it's honey mustard. I'm like a stevia addict. And the same goes for the liquid aminos. I put stevia in here too, and guess what? It tastes like a teriyaki. It's amazing. And then I recently discovered this, okay? Pickles, not that I just discovered pickles, but I discovered putting stevia in the pickles, yes. So, <laughs> I put stevia in the pickles, okay? And then it tastes like those, those uh, bread and butter pickles. Yeah, and this is great too because I've been craving the acidic things, like legit. I'm not saying it's like that healthy for you, but I've been just drinking pickle juice too sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Do you want to try my pickle juice? Can I just smell? Yes, it just smells like regular pickles though. It just smells like pickles. Mm -hmm. But you can taste it's, it's sweet. And that looks like a tongue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But this is great. Pickle juice is great too. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I'm dripping. Love it. Love it. Please try some. It's good. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> See? Not bad. It's amazing. Because otherwise. I mean, I wouldn't say amazing, but yeah. But. It's come a long way from the, the dill pickle. It's actually like super sweet. Yeah. Okay, so now our veggies are done. As you can see, they're all cooked together. They became best friends. Got them all done at once. Got a little medley going on here. So, just putting them in. I don't really measure the vegetables. Uh, you know, about a cup if I eyeball it, but yeah, vegetables I'm not that worried about, so. So I'm using my honey mustard and just putting it on top. And with this meal in particular, I'll have a little baggie of cashews. I love the portion control baggies because I'm one of those people that like, if I have a tin of cashews, I will for sure keep picking at them. <laughs> so this cuts me off, so these are great. And also it's amazing if you're traveling, so it's super convenient, you can just pick it up. All right, so next up, we're gonna cook some turkey. Now, this the turkey is the 99% lean, 1% fat, and as Nadim says, it probably tastes like poop. And the goal is to not make it taste like poop. Um, so we're gonna try. What I like to do is I like to cook my turkey like taco meat. So I'll use like a taco seasoning. So this one's very similar to a taco seasoning, and the ingredients are paprika. Spanish style. So anything that has like a little spice and paprika to it, but anything with like a taco or a spicy seasoning works for this. Mm -hmm. Oh, the splash. I didn't know. 
I definitely need a knife. I'm gonna plop it in there. Plop. <laughs> I'm definitely washing my hands because I don't wanna get salmonella. I've never had it, but it freaks me out. So you gotta stay safe, wash your hands. I also found this seasoned salt that's gonna work really well. You know what? A lot of people are afraid of salt for some reason. They think it's a bad thing. As long as you don't have a health problem, salt shouldn't be an issue. Um, in fact, salt can oftentimes push water into the muscle, thus making it expand, thus breaking it down and making it grow. So salt's actually a pretty good thing. We're mostly made of water anyway, so I'm, I'm an advocate of salt. So same deal with the turkey. We gotta weigh it. Going for that four ounces. And you see here, I cook this like I would taco meat. I like for it to taste like taco meat. And the reason why is because I'm gonna have an avocado or guacamole with it. Now these things are so cool. They're the 100 calorie packs of guacamole, which is basically just some avocado with spices. But I'm thinking I should probably use this avocado up because it's feeling pretty smushy. Looking a little brown. So I'm gonna use a half an avocado. Let's, uh, let's, see inside. let's see how it looks in there. Oh, I think it's okay. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful avocado. Oh, it actually is. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised. So, half an avocado around the 100 calorie range. Of course, that also depends on how big it is, but we're just going to estimate. It. So, it's kind of a nice little taco salad alternative, I guess you could say. And for this little taco salad, I like to pick out the little peppers. Pick some peck of pickle peppers. Pick pick a pepper. 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 <laughs> um, so we're gonna just put those in there because they are kind of like taco-ish, I guess you could say. I also like to add onions. I like to add, let's see what else. Olives, I can add a few of those. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I like to top that with some hot sauce. Just gonna top it with a little hot sauce right there. Boop. Boop. All right, so this right here is magic all up in this crock pot. I love using crock pot for the beef. I cooked up some beef and the great thing about the crock pot is it makes it nice and tender. It makes it shreddable. And you can kind of see as I open this up, you get all that oil and fat, you can drain it right out of there. So it makes the beef a little more lean and I don't know guys, I found that this is the best way to cook my beef. So I marinated it with some spices, various spices. Check it out guys. And I, I've always been a fan of crock pot beef. Sometimes I'll do crock pot chicken too, but I think it's the most useful. I like to pair it with some asparagus. So, so as you can see here guys, I have my four ounces of beef and I have my asparagus which is char broiled on the grill. Got those nice little char marks. And this is one of my favorite meals. And again, if it's beef, it's, I'm getting a serving of protein and a serving of fat along with my vegetables. So this is the next meal and I'll usually have this one in the evening. This is a freaking huge salad, which is great because in the evening is usually when I'm the hungriest and I get the cravings. So as you can see here, I have a lot of lettuce, I have four ounces of chicken, I have some peppers, and I have the other half of that avocado. And if you guys didn't already notice, I've been having like a fat source with each meal. So for this one, I'm using an avocado. Or sometimes I'll do a tablespoon of my favorite dressing instead of the avocado. Um, but if I'm doing avocado, I wanna keep that as my only fat source. So I'll do a great alternative to a salad dressing, which is like a honey mustard vinaigrette. So if you guys remember, I had stevia in this mustard, which makes it like a honey mustard. So I will just kind of apply it like this. It looks really weird. And for that vinegar acidicness, I'll use apple cider vinegar. Now this is not the same thing that I drank earlier in the video. This is actual pure apple cider vinegar. Um, and I'll just kind of drizzle it as needed. Uh, to create that vinegary, vinaigrette taste. Splash, splash. And then I mix it all together, and then I eat it. So it's the last meal of the day, and we're gonna end it with something sweet. It's a great dessert alternative. I got a Greek yogurt, I got a tablespoon of almond butter, 
I've got to sweeten it stevia and I added one of these packets. They're the Devotion flavoring packets, which is amazing for sweetening yogurt, oatmeal, protein shakes, you name it. These are awesome. And then these little guys on top, these are things called protein puffs. They're just basically puffs of protein, um, vanilla and chocolate flavored. So this is a nice little treat for me. And of course I did mention stevia's in it. So um, yeah, it's, it's like a little Sunday dessert or something, my version of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you picked up a few tips and make sure to stay tuned for more of the Road to the Arnold's. <coughs> I'm choking on a protein puff. <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you picked up a few tips and make sure to stay tuned for more. Until next time, I'll see you later.